All right, folks, I finally got the perspective view hooked up, updated on my monitor. The reason why I didn't want to do it too soon is I wanted to make sure I was able to do my one tournament here on the lake and also the Grenada Lake tournament before I made any changes or tweaks to my system. You can understand that, right? Because you, you've heard a lot of issues with the update to this perspective view. And I didn't want to touch my system until we knew that it was good to go. And if it's good to go, if it's not good to go, at least I have now time to make that tweak before the next event. So this is what I've learned. I've talked to Garmin about five times. And uh, number one is do not do this update over the Active Captain app. The point is, is that this is just a really big update and it's not a good thing to do it through the airwaves, so to speak. Go ahead, find a 16 gigabyte SD card. It cannot be one of these fancy ones, ultra high speed or anything like that. It really needs to be a standard uh, SD card. In fact, I've got one here. Um, I learned this the hard way, folks. I went back and forth, back and forth with these people. But this would just be your standard 16 gigabyte card. This would be an example of a, well, I must not have brought it actually. But don't use an ultra high speed, use just a standard card. Um, you need to make sure you format it to, I think it's called FAT32, kind of funny name, but make sure you delete the disc and format it to FAT32. If you have an iMac, like, like I have, you're gonna go into disk utility, hit the button erase, and it's gonna ask you what you want this disk to be formatted. That was the biggest issue for me. Make sure you format it into FAT32. I believe that's the name of it, it's kind of a goofy name. But then go ahead and download the software into your computer and then drag that Garmin folder into onto your SD card, okay? What you're gonna bring to your boat, a card. I'm, I have a 1042 SVX. Um, so you plug this in, it will identify the card, tell it to update, and you need to have at least 10 minutes of time to make sure that this update is done. So that's the first part, and that took about five calls to Garmin. Not fun, not fun, but now it's updated, so I'm excited. So let me show you what I'm gonna go with in terms of amount for now. All I'm trying to do is get to this five week period and seeing if I like this technology or not. So I've used what's called a Scotty ball mounting system. I'm gonna put the link below. I'm also gonna put a picture right here so you can see. I think I bought it on Amazon. It cost $26, okay? So this device did cost me $26 to have it this early. And I'm gonna go out and check it out. But I can tell you, it's a clean installation. It took me all of five minutes to put that together. You take the end pieces off, then you go ahead and just mount the ball mount to the actual bracket, the, the live scope bracket here. And uh, I believe I bought one screw. So one screw and that, and that was it. So very clean looking. I can adjust it. So I haven't been on the water yet. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. We're gonna go right across the cove here and just look for some stuff and see how what, what the picture looks like. So um, I can tell you that my 1042 now identifies the perspective view, which is cool. And so, yeah, we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna give you my honest first impressions. This is no joke, the first time I'm gonna hit the water with this perspective view. All right, for, I don't know how I'm gonna eventually mount this, but I'm trying this out first. I'm gonna put it right here off the fishing specialties mount. Okay, no joke. I'm trying this for the first time. I have no idea what to expect. I'm... All right, I don't know what to think yet. The picture's not, you know, I think you need something that really can be shown off. Let me show you what I'm seeing. I will actually show you some active captain of it. All right, folks, I want you to remember what you just saw. This is the screen that I'm seeing on my 1042. Me personally, when I'm out there, I don't think that's very clear. Now, when I do active captain, you actually do see some of the contour and you actually do see a lot of fish, some fish moving around. I won't say a lot. I perhaps wasn't in the, the right spot, but I do see fish going around. I can mark one right here shortly as it comes up. There it is. You can see the guy moving out. Um, and then there's other fish I'm seeing swim around from time to time. So I know that it works, or at least the active captain is giving me that view. Now, the other thing is this radiating thing going on there. You can see it. 
Um, I don't know if that's feedback because it's so close to my other live scope or if it's turned in, but that didn't bother me so much as it really looked grainy when, when actually looking at the monitor. So you're seeing the picture that I'm seeing now. If I move this thing around. There's the decent fish out here. I just don't know if you can see the bait or not. We're going to see how accurate it is. I'm going to... So right now what you're seeing is a 20 foot view. So I think I can see my bait at eight foot. Right, so that's my bait right there. So that's center point. And it's, so it's pretty accurate in terms of the, the direction it's pointing. That's my ability to switch back and forth between the traditional and the perspective because I have these systems networked. So this, this one actually here is working off the back and I can bring it all the way up here and then I can simply network the two screens together and I can see what that monitor is seeing back there. I don't know if there's an advantage. I might eventually just bring perspective up here and put it back up, put it on the sweep, which I think would make a lot of sense. So to me, that would be fish. That would be fish underneath that dock. Now if I go with the traditional, ooh. All right, so we've tested it in nice, calm conditions. Actually, let's go back in the back here. I'm a, I know of a brush pile we can use and we'd still be out of the wind. This is my, I only have one screw holding that in right now. So right away, I, I decided that, you know, A, I want to make sure alignment's correct. I don't know if the angle's correct on the transducer itself. Um, as far as the picture goes in terms of active captain, it's really nice. Um, but when you, what I'm actually seeing on the monitor is cl clearly something different. And uh, I definitely need to learn what it is I need to do to tweak that. So I actually find something up here in the next uh, images you're going to see that I, I definitely think it, it improves. Um, what I think I need to do though also is find some hard structure. I think that would show up really nice as we see all those. Well, my overall opinion right now is that it's not clear enough. And I don't know if that's my problem or what, but you can get a look at this video here. So just like traditional live scope, I mean, the best thing to do is go ahead and zoom in, maybe get to 30 feet, 40 feet. Maybe that's the actual key to getting a better picture. Um, I'm struggling though with the picture that's on my monitor, which kind of worries me. Okay, that got a little bit better right there. All right, well, that's a short video on it. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna have to reconsider how I'm gonna mount it, that's for sure. Um, having it off to the side seems to be, I'm just being honest here, just having it off to the side here, either the handle needs to become way more convenient or I'm gonna put it on the sweep, which is probably what I'm gonna do. I'd like to have a pedal up here, have it on the sweep, um, and be able to keep it going forward. Um, but the first thing's first, I'm gonna find out why the image isn't as clear as I'd like to see.
I could pick out some things. I could pick out like the fish, but um, my first impressions, to be honest with you, aren't as good as I was hoping they would be. But again, I might just need to tweak that mouth a little bit or do something. So there's there's probably some things I don't know, which is my first time out here. So there you go. My opinion is uh, I don't know yet. I was really hoping for bigger, better things. To be honest with you. Huh? Let's catch a fish.